Right. Let me call your attention to a very familiar passage of scripture is found in the book of Isaiah. Some have noted the book of Isaiah as perhaps the gospel of Isaiah because it contains within it the life of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Isaiah is a, is a blessed book, and it's a book that we can glean from and be encouraged by. In the book of Isaiah, the 41st chapter, and the, starting at the 10th and the 11th verses, if you'll be so kind to stand in reverence to the word of God. Isaiah 41, 10, and 11. And there you will find these words left on record for our consideration. Fear thou not. For I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Behold, all they that were in sins against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing. And they shall strive with thee, and they that strive with thee shall perish. I want to talk to you for the next few minutes. Look at your neighbor and repeat the subject after me. Just look at them and say, I'm good. Uh, tell somebody on the other side, just say, I'm good. Uh, let me talk to you for a few minutes. The intent, you may be seated in the Lord's presence, the intent of these verses is to silence the fears of God's people and to encourage their faith when they are faced with trouble. My brothers and sisters, the initial intent of these verses deal primarily with the support of Israel while they were in captivity. However, it is certainly applicable to those of us who serve God in a faithful manner. My brothers and sisters, this word is addressed to Israel as a single person so that everyone might take it personal. And this is a blessing because when I'm in trouble, when I'm going through something, I need to know that God is concerned about me personally. Can I get a witness here? Yes, you see, I've heard the saints talk about how God made a way for them and brought them out. I've heard others declare that he's a way maker. But when I'm in trouble, when I'm having a tough time, can't see my way, other folks' testimony won't do me any good. I need to know that God, God will come through for me. Can I get a witness here? And so, my friends, it's all about relationship. You can't expect God to come through for you if you haven't developed a relationship with him. Some people don't think about God until they get in trouble. And, and they won't come to church. They do everything they want to and hardly have time for God until something happens. But if you want God to respond to you in a crisis, you've got to stay in touch with him on a regular basis. Tell somebody, cultivate your relationship. So God gives a word, a word of caution. He gives a word of counsel, and he gives a word of comfort in this 10th verse. He says, don't be afraid because I am with you. He tells us, don't be intimidated. I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will support you with my victorious right hand. And then again in the 13th verse, he says, fear not. And then again in the 14th verse, he says, fear not. God says, don't allow your enemies to shake you. Uh, don't allow your enemies to make you feel like they're getting the best of you. I don't know about you, but I've had some encounter with some crazy folk. I've had to deal with some church bullies. I know y'all don't have that down here in, in North Carolina, and I pray that you don't have to go through some of the ridiculous stuff that I've been through, but sometimes, sometimes you have to deal with folk who are in the church that ought to be helping you, but really they ain't nothing but bullies. 
Uh, they try to act like they got so much power with God and try to manipulate sincere people. They try to act like God takes counsel from them and he'll do whatever they say. Well, every now and then when they come up with a trumped up word for you, you just want to tell them I'm good. I don't need your help. I, I, I don't need you claiming you're taking up for me. I don't need you to tell me how you got God to change things around for me. You just want them to know I'm good. Have I got a witness here? And so, my brothers and sisters, you need to know that when the hand of God is on your life, you ain't got to walk around acting timid and fragile. Look at somebody and tell them you ain't timid. Your relationship with God will make you stronger. Your relationship causes you to become bold and confident and secure. We, we should never doubt the promises of God. I'm living in a point in my life where... You can't make me doubt what God has spoken into my life. You, you see, that's, that's, that's what you need. That's why you need a pastor because you need a pastor to speak into your life. You, 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 you don't need to get a word from everybody, but you need to have a pastor that will speak into your life and speak life into your dead situations. Oh, look at somebody and tell them, don't mess with my pastor. Oh, you scared to tell somebody that. Just look at somebody and tell them, don't say nothing about my pastor. Because my pastor is the one that's going to get me out of a dilemma when I'm in trouble. Don't say nothing about my pastor. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And so you need, you need to have your leader to speak into your situation because uh, if you're not careful, uh, these, sometimes these bullies directed by the devil will cause you to lose focus. Uh, and you can become so hurt by what's going on in your life uh, until you can't read the Bible for yourself. Uh, uh, I see some of you pseudo-religious folk uh, sitting here trying to act like you ain't never been there well but I'm going to be transparent enough to let you know that I've been there and I got the t-shirt I had to deal with some church bullies that tried to act like they had my future in their hand I, I had to deal with some folk who tried to act like I couldn't make it without them I had to deal with some denominational bosses who tried to abort my future but I had to hear a word spoken into my life so I could get a Rip. I had to be assured that the God I serve hadn't abandoned me. And whatever he said was going to happen, I'm good. And so God sent me to rally to Raleigh tonight to speak to somebody's life. And he, he says, because I understand you've been going through. And I, and I, I, I want to talk to you because I hope you don't have to go through some of the ridiculous stuff that I went through. So I can either help you to avoid some stuff or, or tell you if you're in the midst of going through some stuff that God is going to bring you out. You see, every true saint uh, ought to try to help somebody else out of their dilemma. I, I get so tired of folk telling new saints, you're going to have to go through some stuff for yourself. Yes, that may be true, but see if you can help me to avoid or get by some stuff. It, it would be greatly appreciated if you would tell me to avoid some people because I had people come into my life and you knew they weren't no good, but you wouldn't say nothing well listen to what Jesus said y'all ain't gonna like what I'm about to say but listen to what Jesus said about some church folk in the 22nd chapter of Luke in the 31st and 32nd verses he said behold Satan hath desire to have you that he may sift you as wheat but watch this he said but I have prayed for thee that thy faith fail not and when thou art converted strengthen thy brother and Jesus said when you come through help somebody else 
Don't let new saints go through unnecessary stupid stuff. Uh, they're going to have enough problems as it is right now. Let, let's be angry with you. will be ashamed and disgraced. Uh, those who oppose you will be reduced to nothing and disappear. You will search for your enemies, but you will not find them. Uh, those who are at war with you will be reduced to nothing and no longer exist. Tell your neighbor God's going to turn this thing around for you. Those that hate you, those who are waiting on you to fail, those who are always trying to pick a fight with you, I come to tell you to don't render evil for evil, but just wait on God because God is going to turn it around. God says, I'm going to reduce your enemies to nothing that you should be afraid of. He said, everyone who is angry with you will be ashamed and disgrace. Those who oppose you will be reduced to nothing and disappear. Do me a favor. Look at your neighbor and tell them, if I were you, I really wouldn't mess with me. In the 14th through the 16th verses of this chapter, God tells his people that they will become a terror to their enemies. But first, we must note how God, and I'm closing here, get ready, Sister Shear. We must note how God referred to Jacob and the Israelites. He reduces them, brother preachers, and sets the framework against the children of Israel or Jacob ever getting the big head. My brothers and sisters, when God does something for you, you have to be careful that pride doesn't lift you up and you become an irritant to God. Help me, Holy Ghost. So God reminds Jacob just who and what he is without him. He refers to him as a worm. Oh, how helpless is a worm. A worm is a small, elongated, usually naked and soft bodied animal. It's weak, it's little, and very defenseless. It's despised and trampled on by man. It, it's even forced to creep into the earth for safety. My brothers and sisters, don't ever think you all that. Remember the text referred to man as a worm. Don't ever think that this is all about you. Even at your best, you ain't nothing. You need to know that you're going to need God to turn this thing around for you. You can't do it by yourself. You don't have enough smarts of intellectuality. You're going to need God to work this thing out for you. And that's why Paul picked it up in the fourth chapter of Philippians and the 13th verse and said, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Tell your neighbor it's all about him. It's, it, it is God that will silence the fears even when they seem to be overwhelming. It was Paul who said in the fourth chapter of 2 Corinthians starting at the seventh verse, but we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. My friends, it is amazing how God and, and how God used Jacob and Israel and advance them from that low place to a formidable place. And that's what God is wants to do in your life. He wants to take you from where you are and place you in a new place. Why don't you do me a favor and grab your neighbor by the hand and say, neighbor, God is trying to take you higher. Oh, come on and say it again. God is trying to take you higher. And no matter what the enemy is doing in your life no matter how he's trying to defeat you I came by to tell you that you got some backup because the God that I serve is not going to let you fail we must remember that we are instruments in God's hands so allow me to bring this to a close by telling you that when the enemies come in like a flood tell your neighbor I'm good because that's when the Lord will lift up a standard against them. 
Psalm 3 and 6 says, I will not be afraid of 10,000s of people that have set themselves against me round about. Tell your neighbor I'm good. David said in the 27th number of Psalm that the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foe came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Grab your neighbor by the hand and say, neighbor, tell them I'm good. Though a host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. The war should rise against me. In this will I be confident. Tell your neighbor I'm good. Psalm 46 said that God is our refuge and our strength. A very present help in trouble. Therefore I ain't scared. Tell your neighbor I'm good. Psalm 118 and 6 said the Lord is on my side. I will not fear what can man do to me. Psalm 138 and 7 said though I walk in the midst of trouble thou wilt revive me. Thou shalt stretch forth thine hand against the wrath of my enemies and thy right hand shall save me. Put your hand up in your neighbor's face and say neighbor I'm good. First Corinthians 15 and 57 said but thanks be to God which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Hebrew 11 and 32 said and what shall I more say for the time will fail me to tell of Gideon and Barak and Samson and Jephthah and of David and Samuel the prophets who through faith subdued kingdoms wrought righteousness obtained promise stop the mouth of lion tell your neighbor I'm good quench the fire of the violence escape the wedge of sword out of weakness were made strong wax gallant in fight turn the fight the enemies of the aliens tell your neighbor I'm good so it's Romans 8 and 31 said so what shall we then say what shall we then say to these things if God be for us who can be against us let the liars lie let the backbiters bite let the hellhounds come tell your neighbor I'm good grab your neighbor by the hand pull on them and push them y'all ain't pushing nobody pull on them and push them push them and pull on them pull on them and push them and say neighbor I'm good because the Lord is with me. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I'm good because God made me a promise. God made me a promise. Say, ah! yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Bishop, for reminding us that we have no reason to fear because with the Lord on my side, I'm, I'm good. We have no reason to be scared. We have no reason to be afraid because I'm glad of the word of God that says, be not afraid and fear not when fear comes knocking at your door.
prayer. You got the wrong one. Because I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. This is holy ground. And I ask for me in my house. I will serve the Lord. I'll serve him with gladness. I'm not scared. I'll shout in the enemy's face. I'm not scared. I'll give him a hallelujah. Even when I'm going through. Because I'm not scared. You got to reverse. Tell that old devil. I'm good. Because the Lord's with me. And whatever you trying. You got to reverse it back. On the enemy. And say now. Until. from falling and to present me faultless before the presence of God. Oh, I know I'm good because greater that's within me than he that's in the world. I don't know about y'all, but I got a backup and my backup is that greater one because when Because that name is my backup. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. And the righteous run it into it. We have a backup. We got to stop talking to God about being fearful. And tell your fearful spirit that your God is the one that's on top that spirit you gotta go up in your house and say this is the Lord's house devil you a liar I don't know about you but I come to tell you that I'm licensed to carry I said I'm licensed to carry I'm packing with the word of God that is sharp than any two at your sword you gotta tell devil I'll cut you out of my life I'll cut you you gotta go gangster sanctify gangster on him I'll cut you out of my mind cause I'm gonna let this mind be in me which was also in Christ Jesus tell the devil get off of my mind Get off of my property. I'm not scared of you. You and you license to carry. You got authority. The Lord has given you power to tell the enemy, get off my property. Get out of my life. Take your hands off my children. Take your hands off my body. Cancer, you got to go. Sugar diabetes, you got to go. Oh, because the Lord intends for us to live in good health you gotta tell the devil you are a liar i'm good and you got to say use that power and say use your weapon tell that devil stick them up the joy that god gave me give it back to me stick them up control. 
show and everybody on the train everybody on the train was going to drop all because they were scared and everybody on board was scared that they was going to die so they was hollering they started panicking and it was a little girl in the corner playing with her Barbie doll and rubbing her hair and the lady walked up to her say little girl why are you playing with your doll at a time like this I don't understand the little girl said what you don't know is that I'm getting ready I'm gonna live because I know something that you don't know the lady said what is it she said the little girl told the lady my daddy is not a passenger but my daddy is the conductor and as long as I got my daddy as on the conductor he's gonna be my protector can I tell somebody whatever you going through you stay on the train with Jesus that's my daddy you stay on the train with Jesus he's gonna protect you you gotta tell that old devil I'm not gonna die when he try to trick your mind say I'm not gonna die you shall live and not die and declare oh, oh, declare the works of the Lord that's what I'm saying you gotta tell trouble get out of my life I got God on my side because I realize that I'm standing on this promise I'm backed up by the word I got backed up I'm standing on this promise because the Bible says for in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion in the secret place of the tabernacle he shall hide me he shall set me up upon the rock that's why I'm good and I realize oh that the gates oh the gates of hell I'm on this church because he said upon this rock I'll build my church and the gates of hell can't come against me the gates of hell can't fight me Good God Almighty, 
I will say of the Lord, uh, he is my refuge, uh, my fortress, uh, my God, uh, in him will I trust. Uh, I got to come down a little bit. Uh, good God Almighty, uh, do you have me, brother musician? Uh, hallelujah. In the event of emergency, let's see how good you are. Uh, but I know how to die. Uh, nine one three surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noiseless cell I got a dial nine one four he said he shall cover thee with his feathers and under the wings shall thou trust look at your neighbor say you got to know what to dial if you don't have the Bible in your hand, you got to have it in your head. Because David said, that word have I hidden in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, say, this is not the time to worry nor fear because God has got you covered. I need y'all to turn around and tell somebody this is not the time to get nervous and shook up. You got to know that we're covered. This is not the time to throw in the tie. You got to keep looking up to the hills from which cometh your help. Your help comes from the Lord. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, how good are you? You're not good if God is not in the forefront. I know that every time I tell God I need you, I look to the hills from which cometh my help. My help comes from the Lord. Tell your neighbor, I'm good. When the enemy tries to do damage in our household, we got to open up the Bible. And the Bible says, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Look down your row. Tell everybody on your row, when you get back home, you got to make sure you got the word around you, inside of you, on side of you, in front of you. Because, yeah, though I walk through the valley and the shadow of death, I fear no evil because I'm good. That rod, that staff, it comforts me. I'm good because the steps of a good man. If I started, y'all supposed to finish it. I said the steps of a good man, they are ordered by the Lord. I found out that the word of God is a navigation system. Yes, it is because he knows the way that I take that when I'm trying, I shall come forth as pure gold. And not only that, but guess what? The word of God is a lamp unto my feet. Tell your neighbor, I'm good. It's a light unto my pathway. Tell them I'm good. That even when my mother and my father forsake me, I'm good. Because the Lord shall take me up. Tell your neighbor I'm good. When it looks like I'm running out of money. I don't know what to do. I'm good. Because my God shall supply. Oh, if I start it, y'all supposed to finish it. I said, if you're good, open up your mouth. My God 
shall supply all my needs according to his riches in glory. Tell your neighbor I'm good. You know why I'm good? Because even though the enemy comes in like a flood, the Lord got me covered. He lifts up a standard. And not only that, but he pushes the devil back. That's why I'm not worried about my enemies. I'm good. Because guess what? When a man weighs, please the Lord. He make a display of haters. Be at peace. Look at your neighbor and say, that's how good I am. Not only that, but when I get to the place, I have no strength. I know what to do. Let God arise. Even though your enemies are coming against you, let God arise. And your enemies will be scattered. Tell your neighbor, if you open your mouth, God will scatter your enemies. But if you shut your mouth, your enemies coming to take you over. I'm going to say it one more time. I said, if you open your mouth, God will scatter your haters. But if you open your mouth, let the redeem of the Lord say so. For he's redeemed me from the hand of the enemy. Open up your mouth. Get your hand up and say I'm good because you know why I get a little weary while I'm doing well. But I do know that if I stay the course in due time, in due season, you shall reap if you faint not. Tell your neighbor I'm good. I'm good because every time struggle to get in the house of God. David said, I was glad when they said, it's church time. Come on, let's bless his name. He said, when you get there, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and his courts. Tell your neighbor, that's where we are now. Say, what are you doing? If you're so good and you say he's good, you ought to every now and then wave your hand, make known the deeds among the people. I gotta thank him, giving thanks unto God, for he's caused me to triumph through challenges, triumph through sickness, Triumph through what haters say. Triumph is a struggle. But look at your neighbor and say, you got backup. Tell them you got backup. Yes, you do. Because the Lord, he's your shepherd. You don't have to want. He will. He'll be with you when you can't sit with yourself. He'll walk by you when you can't lean on nobody. He'll be right there. Can I get a witness? Open up your mouth and say, I know him. Don't you wish everybody did? I stopped by to tell you as I begin to hang the mic over back to Bishop. But I stopped by to tell you I'm good because Jesus is my company keeper. I'm good because Jesus is my soul saver, my peace giver, my bill payer, my body healer, my pain killer, my grocery buyer, my discount giver, my crack destroyer, my heart fixer. Tell your neighbor I'm good. He's a mind regulator. He's a head lifter. He's a body raiser. He's a debt counselor. He's a problem solver. Lift your hand and say, I'm good. He's a marriage counselor. He's a devil 
driver. He's a hell house chaser. He's a dead raiser. He's a light giver. He's a navigator. He's my aviator. He's my comforter holder. He's a burden bearer. He's a heavy load sharer. Tell your neighbor, all these years, he been keeping me in my right mind because he keep you in perfect peace. If you keep your mind, stay on the, the only reason why I did commit suicide cause the Lord was the strength of my life in whom I will and I know what he can do. The only reason why I did join the time when folk in the church got on my nerve, I got in the word where the word says that I can do all things through Christ that strengthened me. That's why I'm good. And even when it gets to the point when I can't make it, I can't see my way. I keep pressing toward the prize and the mark of the calling of Jesus Christ. Cause I do know that we're all working to get a crown. Tell your neighbor, say, that's why you're here. You're looking to live again. I said, you're looking that when this life is over, you'll tell this world goodbye. Because I got another place, not made by hand, but eternal into the heavens. Tell your neighbor, I'm good. I need an insurance policy. I need an insurance policy. Yes, I do down here. But I got an assurance policy that's already in state that if this earthly house of this tabernacle be dissolved he got another building can i get a witness if you miss me from singing with the clock sisters and you can't find me nowhere come on up to the city called heaven i'll be shouting up there see my mother why she directing that national choir I'm gonna see Paul and Silas when they told me that if I can hold on a good day is coming but sisters and brothers I gotta get out of here but can you get your neighbor by the head and tell your neighbor say ah oh, neighbor I need you to say it like you mean it. Say, ah, oh, neighbor. Say, I don't know about you, but I'm looking to see Jesus' face. Yes, I am. Because living, he loved me. Dying, he saved me. Buried, he carried my sin away but rising he justified freed me forever next time we come together we don't know if we're gonna be caught up but I'm here to tell you I want y'all to know all of this is gonna be over you better make sure you know who your undertaker is Who's taking you under? Is it God or it is it devil? Because one day he's coming back. What a glorious day. I can't wait to see him face to face. And guess what? It won't be no more convocation. It won't be no more district meetings. It won't be no more Mama Mother's Days. It won't be no more gathering together. I said one day he's coming back, but I've got to leave this with you. Are you ready to see him? Because I want to see him. 
the look upon his face. Can I get a witness? I want to hear him say, well done. Well done. Well done. Not good in paper service. I got to leave this with you. Twinkie wrote a song that's so prevalent for right now for everybody that's working in ministry. That's why you're good. She said, is my, is my living in vain? Is my, is my giving in vain? Is my, is my praying in vain? If I started, y'all supposed to finish. Is my, is my fasting in vain? Am I, am I wasting my time? Can the, can the clock be rewired? No, of course not. It's not in vain. I need you to get somebody, look them in the face, and say it's not in vain. Because up the road, up the road, up the road is eternal gain. Anybody going to heaven? I need you to scream like you know you're on your way. I need you to shout like you know you're on your way. Yeah! Hey! Everybody shout, I'm good! I'm good! I'm good! And the reason I'm good because quite a Somebody said Quetta! Hallelujah. 
people in your area and tell them the devil thought he had me, but I'm good. Just tell three people, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I got joy in my soul. I got peace in my mind. Hallelujah. While you're standing, while you're standing all over this building, listen, there may